market analysis ya mboni weekly analysis actually uh, nilikuwa kind of dilemma ku like which pays to do its analysis lakini muona kuna naweza nikaonesha gbp jpy and dxy lakini pia tuangalie what market has for us uh, next week for some of the pairs lakini the actual pair ambayo nita share itakuwa ni gbp jpy kwa sababu ilikuwa ndo most requested pair uh, nilipo tweet love like which pair should i i make its analysis and make sure if you are new to this video i kisha una like and if this video serves you guys make sure you like kwa sababu unasaidia watu wengine pia kwa sababu youtube they do the comment the most liked the videos so that they can help the other ones okay so make sure you you, you subscribe as well and this video if helps you make sure you share to your friend do comment for any topic that you want me to speak about kwa sababu huwa nachukua topics ambazo nyie mna request and then I, I, I speak about them there are some of the topics I'm also still uh, working on them and I'll give the uh, nitazip nitazi upload okay so line out takuwa hii week ilikuwa kind of crazy very crazy kwa sababu ya hizi fundamentals release ambazo za za hii week one of them kuhusiana na na in, 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 interest rates of uh, the US ambo almost interest rates while lies US in lies interest ambo tunataka ni share na nyie kuhusiana na na DXY ili uweze kujua like the other pairs ambazo ni USD za kwa zina pray namna gani and pia within this week kuna some of the uh, fundamentals release ambazo naziona right now kuhusiana na Russia and Ukraine which is the of the the actual uh, the actual um, fundamentals ambazo zina zina uh, zina drive the world market crazy asasa the watu ambao wana trade US oil and the other commodities like gold now almost see Ukraine still uh, US, U, Ukraine and Russia they are still 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 cr- driving the market crazy this the official uh, this is a live update line now and at, at the time of shooting this video here we arrive and so tutaona some of the what of the pairs ambazo ambazo maybe I, I will be trading where i'll be trading them okay one of them being the us gbp jpy but kabla ya kuona gbp jpy i uh, inabidi tuone uh, usd i mean the dxy see how dxy the axis over the world hapa ni DXY kwenye monthly time frame but DXY o dollar index ina represent strength ya US dollar now ukijua strength ya US dollar is quite very simple ku kujua the other pairs ambazo zinampea USD vile ambavyo zinakuwa but kabla sijaingia kwenye dollar index i want to share you with a simple simple um simple concept here Tunajua always market uh, in a trend into three okay ambao kuna uptrend kuna downtrend and kuna sideway okay and we all, we have this okay kama ni uptrend market is never straight like this okay kwa watu ambao wanatumia trend lines uh, all this kind of stuff so always market in a move yeah, it creates this impulse and this a correction this a impulse this is the correction and th- this is the uh, impulse this is how market moves and always kama unataka u buy ama u sell we always buy low and sell high what i mean is uh, ni simple concept ambazo kama unifanya biashara you know all this that you always buy low buying long kwa maana you buy when this correction ends to take advantage of this impulse okay and you not you are, we, we never buy here because ukibai hapa unakume buy muda ambao mvua zinakatika wewe ndo unatuletea mia mfuri you know the vibe guys wafanya biashara they know this vibe you got it if you don't get it forget about it unatuletea mia mfuri ama masweta kati 
mvua baridi na kata tunaanza kuingia kwenye kwenye jua hako ama kwenye masek so it's like when you buy around here utapata tena hii correction so you end up getting a loss au unakuwa kwenye drawdown so that we take our this impulse now for you to kujua like when masika yataisha ili wewe ingie sokoni ama his correction when they, they will they will end unaweza kutumia some of the tools unaweza kutumia price action unaweza kutumia demand and supply unaweza kutumia price imbalance unaweza kutumia fibonacci unaweza kutumia just a normal support and resistance ambapo bila before before e level kuwa breakdown ambayo tunaita ni resistance market as it to uh, to find the simple momentum around it huku chini maybe around here hey, ili tupate the other push okay so this is how how market moves vice versa hata ukiepo ni downtrend hata kama ukiepo ni sideways now kwenye last video ambayo ilikuwa ipo ni out chef and us chef ambazo ni share you guys missed the certain nice uh, confirmation around kwenye key point ili tupate the impulse ambacho i was leading the comments like what so these people did not even take advantage this setup which was very very nice now don't do this mistake right now um now when we are working on this usd uh, or dollar index unaweza kaona tulikuwa na hii uptrend reason why kwa nini uptrend kwa sababu tuna hii uh, impulse correction impulse correction impulse correction all this manake mpaka sasa hii tupo kwa hii structure okay i think mnaweza kuelewa ni na maanisha tuko kwa hii market structure remember this is a monthly na maki hizi highs ili kujua kwenye lower time frames maybe a day or whatever tutakuwa tunajua where sasa hivi tupo okay so right now ndo tupo na hiki and so tukiwa kwenye 4 hours let me jump into 4 hours and see how is structure ambayo tupo now we have this unaweza kuona tuna e, a simple simple uptrend market structure ambao line now ndo tupo hapa lakini all way market inabidi tufikishe wapi huko ambako sasa hii tu kwenye higher time frame ndo tumeona okay now unaweza kaona tukapo na impulse in just a simple correction so which means ituchukue mpaka kule kule juu so menelewa uh, ndo hii market structure ambayo tuko na this an impulse this is a correction this is impulse this is a simple correction ili tuendelee na up kwa general utakuja kuona like uh, dollar index tunaiona ina gain strength and right now tumesta kwenye hichi kitu right now tumestake hapa ambapo kwa sababu tu share test around this level this coming week this coming week tunaweza kuona e market maybe in a correct the other momentum around this and then it will the general i think umepata point like how vile tunakuwa tunaangalia the general market structure now this is the dora index now kwa watu ambao wanatumia fib uh, fibonacci tutakuta connect the first point then this is second point and almost the turning points in around 61 0.6% and it's estimated the actual level about tunaweza kupata pullback tupate the other impulse so we always buy low and sell high ukiwa around here utakiwa ku buy <laughs> you have to buy when this the, the actual price is low Okay so this is a general market uh, view kwenye DXY now kwa pia zote ambazo zitakuwa zinampea USD maybe USDCHF USD card GBP USD we have to see USD getting uh, getting strong okay this is GBP JPY naweza nikaangalia kwenye monthly level tuangalie tupate general picture ya hii ya ipe. General picture ya hii pe uh, tunaona ipo kwenye uptrend market structure. The uptrend market structure reason bien kwa sababu tuna hichi kitu ambacho unaweza kaona we have the same price. You have to know the general market structure ili ujue when to enter. The same price, this is a correction, this is a price, all this hii yote ilikuwa ni correction. And then line now tupo kwenye hii 
impulse so right now what i'm going to position trader what i'm going to swing trader they are looking for buying opportunities until where the first point i'm going to transfer kangaria next tab near around here and the other point is let me uh, change the pixel and the other point is here is up and point numbers on reza ukaona pound in a tap and general kama fundamentals tunaona ipo general up move okay so this is a quick up wengine utakuta ameka that's a simple patterns like this but it's quite simple <laughs> simple you can see tupo kwenye yes up trend market structure so manake hii push inabidi tuone in a tap around there okay now let's see vile ambavyo ipo kwenye uh, lower time frame always the higher time frame tunaitumia kwa ajili ya kupata kwa ajili ya kupata general market structures general market structure so easy nimeoneshea tu just kuku kwa mtu ambaye ni beginner ajue what's happening right now okay yeah so i hope that you share the what's happening right now and same on price iki kitu kwa, kwa sababu inabidi tuione ina tap around here and what wengi i know you guys wengi alikuwa anategemea before kupata impasse tupate simple pullback uh, which i also expected this shit uh, despite kwamba ni rebuy ni rebuy around certain point mpaka around here mpaka around here ambapo ndilikuwa previous high but i was expecting before this push tupate a simple pullback maybe a anti around here that's what i expected but it not happen nikapata hiyo entry mpaka around there and what i expected the river form we candle i was expecting to take a short position but kwa sababu ilikuwa ni friday and i said okay let me wait for the coming week and the actual friday it ka form it ka cross na hii candle remember we are in a daily time frame okay we are in a daily time frame and this is how the day time frame line now in a in a fufanana okay and try right now hii ndio ilikuwa our previous high and hii high inabidi tuone pia inafanywa breakout if not even uh, i don't think if kama pound itaendelea ku respect ile for i don't know kwa sababu we naona like even the fundamental fundamental still i see pound gaining more strength gaining more 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 strength now kuni four was general now resi um general can see quantum bo uh they are they are what wanna trade this wanna to me is it tl trend run they walikuwa na una opportunities za ku buy the moment market ipo kwa ina tap ile bo okay so this is actual uh move ambo tulikuwa hapo na okay this a uh, impulse you can now hapo tuko hapo na correction ambo ilikuwa ni uh, a nice nice entry around here to cover the other impasse and then the other correction and boil kwani entry in zuri around here ndo nilifanyia entry around here and my intention ilikuwa ni kubuy um, back around there and boil go form up and then i was able like let's see now how pound vile itakuwa so this impasse ilikuwa ndo simple pullback so e pullback ndo me personally ni tegemea e push back around here iliku kamilisha hii actual imbalance market imbalance around here this is what i expected and pia kwa watu ambao wanatumia hizi uh, fibonacci i think they they also expected that such thing kwamba hii kitu ipush mpaka maybe around this 61% ambayo ilikuwa ina align a fib and then to part this push but it align around there and it's when i entered it, uh, uh, my short position my my buying position around here but it was all about scalping and all kind of stuff okay so line out na tegemea hii push it up mpaka around this level before kupata simple pull back kwa ajili ya ku break his own kama ita break will be good kama ita break also will be good okay kwa sababu still tunaona like you see we 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 in a strong strong bullish momentum kwa sababu buyers still control this market unaweza kaona like hii ambayo ndio ilikuwa our high yetu tari sha break hiyo you can see this tari sha break hii high ambayo hii high ime breakiwa na hii lower now what we are expecting ni hiki tutena kutengeneza 
the other high. Now high yetu possible ni around this level hapa ili tupat the other row. Sasa so, low inezi kaja kutest maybe around this level. This is our market moves guys. Inabidi wele where market retraces and where market moves. Now right now for this week kama utakuna angalia maybe entries for buying for buying or for selling kama sijui wewe ni position trader but this ipe ya mimi nitakuwa na hiyo na general kama uptrend now yeah, in this uptrend naweza nikaangalia opportunity za ku sell uh, for short term lakini long term we yeah, we are in a strong 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 buy momentum okay so this is gbp jpy and the other pair ambayo niko pona iona ilikuwa ni gbp usd and ilikuwa ni ipo kwenye very very nice ikiwa na nice market structure kwa watu ambao mna trade hizi pattern side i think you can see what's happening right now you can see this you can see this what ambao mna trade hizi patterns and all kind of stuff yeah so we are in this simple simple very very simple ma uptrend market structure uh, which is nice same applies ambo tali naona isha tap around there so tunaweza kaona pound pia na gain strength mpaka around there maybe when the market opens in as a break around that level hii nimewapa into rare case but i plan to only to give you only gbp jpy but the ziko positive correlated though not much lakini kwa watu ambao wana trade hizi mambo they understand what this has for them okay kwa ambao wana trade hizi patterns now thank you for watching guys uh, make sure una like if this video itakuwa imekusaidia do like kwa sababu you you are helping someone out there ili video will recommend it kwake okay and just have the all of the best in your trading week ahead